Bill Golston is a mild-mannered man on a mission, and despite his demeanor, on the football field, he's all business. Well, off the field, we all good, we friends, we cool. On the field, you in my way, you gonna get out of my way. It's simple. Coming off a junior campaign that saw Southeastern reach the regionals for the first time in school history, Golston managed 101 tackles with 15 sacks. 13 big-time D1 offers came in, including Alabama, USC, and Florida. He chose Michigan State. It felt like a family, you know what I'm saying? Something that I had, but I really didn't have consistently. And it felt like a family. Every time I went up there, like, it was brothers. And I could really respect them and grow with them, you know what I'm saying? And become a man, because that's really what it's all about. On his to-do list, the state single-season sack record is 36, set two years ago by Kings' Nick Perry. Through six games, Will has 16. And it's not a matter of if he'll break the record, but by how much. I'm trying to get it by 10. I'm trying to get 46, you know. Don't want to get it by one or anything like that. And yeah, it's important. I want to go back, talk to little kids in the little league teams, give them some hope, let them know that it's possible. Golston was also a key contributor to the basketball team, but he will exchange his tank top this winter for some Speedos. He loves swimming, despite the fact it almost killed him. Actually, it's crazy I learned to swim. I was at um, uh, a local pool and I almost drowned. And I was like, man, I'm never doing that again. So I just started practicing. I got better and better and better. Finally, Will is in the hunt for Mr. Football. And yes, it would mean a lot. I let me know I accomplish everything that I need to accomplish. And that I always got more to accomplish. Let me know I can look back at the trophy if I get down, depressed, look like I can do anything I need to do. I'd like to thank Wendy's for making me the student athlete of the week. How about them From the top to the bottom, we got a coder, we got two doctors, a coder, and an architect. What do you think you need to do now to become those things? What's the first steps you're going to take? The sooner you start, the better your foundation, the stronger and more solid it is. You know your direction and where you want to at least try to go. Like the age they are, they can be this one day and be that the next day, but they still have that work ethic and the momentum to push them to be great. You got to be determined to it and also know how like the ropes to it. So I believe that's why you also need a mentor in your life. Someone who already knows the ropes and can teach you. I want to be the water to their sponge, you know, like with whatever I know, I want to just pour it into them if they willing to accept it. Hopefully I can be uh, the mentor or the person that I had when I was growing up. I come from really humble beginnings, but uh, it was a point of not having anything or homelessness. Even to this day, even though I have everything that I have and I do everything that I do, if I have the means to be able to help, I might as well put it somewhere where it can be productive and it can help, like legitimately help people. What's your one? I'm ready. I think like when you get your like degree, it's kind of like you can have like, it gives you a key so you can like unlock different paths. I mean, it kind of like helped me understand like what do I need to do and like his knowledge is shared onto me so I can apply that knowledge to my life. High school is gonna help you set your foundation, right? When you go to college, the next level is gonna be the same kind of stuff from that foundation. That's just where you, college is where you're gonna build your walls. My career cluster was actually agriculture and construction. Like the whole career cluster is based about like building structures and building things. The one thing that I noticed the most from Whistley was his eagerness. Like he was ready, he was on the ball, he was alert. He is confident in what he wants to do. He listens, he absorbs the information, he tries to apply the knowledge within the session that we have. It's a small session, so he applies the knowledge that you give him. He's the third of my kids, but he's feel, I feel like sometimes he's probably the oldest, the way he act and carry himself. I feel like a mentor, you know, uh, give him an outside look, and I feel like that just a, that's just like a teacher, you know what I mean? He's telling you, hey man, you can go farther than what you are right now. Like having Rod as a mentor, it's like bounce. I can like talk to him about anything and it's almost like he can help me with that exact same topic. He's just universal with this helping me grow as a person. I, I got the jackpot with Wesley and uh, he's just a tremendous young, very intuitive kid. He's just one of those kids that I want around my kids, for my younger kids to learn from as well. That guy right here on TV, I talk to him every day just like, uh, you know, a, a, a close friend, a close parent. That pretty much makes me feel like I can do anything. To interact and, I mean, know these guys personally. It doesn't have to be an NFL player, but, but, but we have a great here. But we have 
what the Buccaneers are doing. These kids, uh, you know, look up to these guys as like rock stars and superstars and super athletes. And here they are telling them, hey, by the way, I was in your shoes. Hopefully that's what these kids see in us. Like they want to be us or better. Hopefully better because we need better in the next generation. Well, in case you haven't heard, Super Bowl 55 is going to kick off right here yeah. on TV6. And all week we've been popping down to Tampa to see how former Michigan and Michigan State players are feeling before the big game. Yeah, tonight we're going to check in with former Michigan State defensive end William Golston. And the donation that he made hits close to home. Family and football are two of the most important things in William Golston's life. And when he made a $225,000 donation to the Moffitt Cancer Foundation in Tampa Bay, he did so during the biggest week of his football career and with his family on his mind. My father passed away, my uncle passed away, my mom has fought breast cancer, and I have another uncle who survived breast cancer. And the biggest thing about it is we are all African American and we're all black. And when I was in the process of fighting with my father, it was a lot of lack of information and the lack of knowledge of the why and the how can we do this or how can we do that. Moffitt came up with the program and I definitely wanted to join in to be able to do more research when it comes to the minority communities. With February being Black History Month, Golston purposely made the donation now to symbolize the need for fair medical care given to minority patients. I feel like 
that was the perfect time to begin the Black History Month to be able to show that I'm trying to do something for the black community. Uh, so yeah, it was planned out just, just like that. Now a father of three sons, Goulston reflected on what his own father would think of the donation he made to honor both of his parents. I would assume that he'd be extremely proud of me, uh, just because of the man that he wants me to be and the character that he instilled into me. I feel like it was something that's very important to be able to provide the funds to do that research, to give other people who may be battling or other people who don't know they'll be battling cancer an opportunity to get more time. Because with the more research we know, the better prepared we'll be able to handle and fight. It's one of the hardest things in the world that I've ever had to go through. And yeah, I, I think I'm pretty sure he'll be proud of me and I'm excited to be able to do it and be a catalyst.